Alright. Yeah, I was able to uh, take a look at that while I was uh, getting myself sorted. Yeah, so um look, I'm going to I'm going to shoot rather straight. Uh this seems like something that was pulled out of DOJ's ass and it has such wide-running ramifications that I cannot genuinely believe that they put any thought behind this. Um fundamentally by tying your residency to your vote, you're like manipulating the entire fucking election. I am very pro declare your residency. I've wanted mm -hmm. this for three months, but this is not how yeah. you do it. Um, yeah, and like, uh, I mean, I don't know if you recall, but I, I think back when that whole we had that whole meeting up at the news building, mm -hmm. I think it was mentioned that this was always the intention uh, yeah. to happen. I just like is mentioned in the letter that there's been no uh, foundation laid for it to to happen. Uh, yes. And it opens some, like, I'm going to tell you right now that this grants me immediate win. I immediately win. I don't have to do anything. I won. Because, yeah. uh, I, 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 um, and I don't like that, right? Like, I'm, I'm very, mm. like, pro people at the end of the day. Every move I make, every decision I make is I want people to have a voice. Um, and... To me, the the OJ look. I, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going after the entirety of the DOJ, um, and I'm going to explain what I mean by this. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of bullshit for the last three months, some of which I'm sure you're aware of, but I've sort of been so, trying yeah. to play play ball as much as I can. But it's just been idiot decision after idiot decision. The latest of which was this, but previous to this was um just what i would uh, uh, refer to as ad hoc shadow edits now i would like to point you to the fact that um uh, the constitution of san andreas does give the doj legislative authority over all legal and judicial matters it does not say they have cont on carte on blanche ability to do whatever they fucking want with state legislation um furthermore if you look at the definition of los santos county it gives los santos county and the mayor the ability to govern blah 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 the respective county nowhere in here does it mention that doj gets to circumvent shit they should be going through the same process all legislation goes through does this slow things down? Sure. But what's the fucking problem? It's three days. You post it up. Lawyers get mm -hmm. a, a know about it. Uh, it can be contested. All these other things. So I'm I'm literally going to challenge all of it. Now, the intent yep. of this is not to revert everything through. In fact, they could have a referendum, right? If they want and say, hey, can we enact all these things we've already put into place? Yes or no. Mm -hmm right it's just none of these they just needed to be a simple process you want to bring state law in fine go post it to the city hall so people can look at it you want to make an edit go post it by the doj just being able to do whatever the fuck they want is how we end up in this position where they're just like herp to derp let's have you pick your residency and the mayor at the same time what does that mean like what if yeah. let's say let's use an example Cyprus is probably going to want to vote for Eve, right? Now they can't vote for Eve and myself. They may decide, mm -hmm. hey, Nino's going to win already, which is perfectly fine. I have no problem with this, right? But yep. what if in doing so, vote for Eve, and tomorrow they lose all their businesses? That's yeah, not like, unrealistic. Yeah, like, just, like, re like resident is, isn't the fact, like, do you need to own property? Because like, God knows there's... Like compared to down here, there's barely any property up there. You'd have like 25 voters. Yep. Uh, Michael, uh, come to City yeah. Hall. Yeah, I'll be right I'm there. on the roof of uh, yeah, yeah, the okay. flag guy. Yeah, okay. Right. Um, and so that's, yeah, that's exactly it. Keep shit how it is. He's probably going to win anyways. I'm going to tell you just straight up why this came into play. I, I am genuinely believe 
is to prevent Pred from having a chance. Uh, uh, and the repercussion maybe. of this is, that's my allegation. I think the repercussion of this is, uh, what does this mean? I have at least six pieces of legislation that reference residents of counties. I believe, mm -hmm. I believe state law mentions the same. So what does that mean when I create like the five districts and you need to be a resident of Los Santos County? Like we already had a plan of action. Like you declare mm -hmm. your residency, you and your district or whatever, you know, the right way. But what does it mean now? It means like, so if someone votes a certain way, now they're, now they're in Blaine. Now they're a Blaine resident, right? Like, yeah, I it, don't. It, it, and it's it, not like we're two different states. You know, it's not like New York and Boston. It's like it's it's, it's more mixed than uh, how they're defining it. E yes, um, you know, so. I wanted to get your take on this. I um I have Abilene writing up a um uh you know, I, I want them to DOJ to respond. That's why I made it an open letter and I put it on the city yeah. hall. Um I'm likely going to be uh, listen, Robin, I'm coming in really hot and heavy mm -hmm. for the betterment of Los Santos. And I'm wanted to see whether you're interested in uh assisting with any of that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, once I, I suppose I would want to take a read of the arguments, uh, once they're on yeah. paper. Okay. And then make a decision. Um, perfect. You can pick and choose. There's going to be a lot of, um, posts that are going to be made, mm -hmm. including what is likely going to be an injunction on this decision and possibly it may affect the voting on Monday. Um, because. Yeah. Are you aware of, um, the whole cypress raid and what happened with that no um basically some of the, one of the sort of cypress one of the smaller crews were fucking idiots um got their warehouse raided um it's the clean guy obviously gets caught he gets all these charges put on the docket uh i'm his lawyer at that point uh i'm negotiating a plea deal for him then he fires me for some reason. Ah! Yeah. Um, and then, a couple of days ago, he turns up dead. Uh, Cyprus didn't do it. Although what? Um, but now, it seems the marshal... So, apparently, one of the groups they suspect killed this guy. Or it seems like the group that did kill this guy... Uh, they killed him up at the lighthouse, and then they did an anonymous 911. Okay. But they waited to do the 911 until they were at their own house. So <laughs> when, the, when the cops looked at their GPS, the ping, you know, the, you know that thing that the calls coming from inside the house. Yeah. yeah it, it literally was. <laughs> like it's on the dog. It's like anonymous 911. Guy got shot in the head at the lighthouse. But oh the ping's my in, god. The ping's up in so no way because, yeah because well maybe the murder weapons in there so now the guy's getting fucked for weapons manufacturing felony possession of like drugs and and uh i suppose there's some up there it seems the martyrs are trying to slowly edge in a form of rico he said rico and my game crashed This motherfucker said Rico and my game crashed. What in the fucking world, Rico?
Rico, the real R, R world, R word. Is Rico a thing in 4.0? I mean, I, I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, fundamentally, no. Okay. Um, like, I, uh, uh, Rico is something that was brought in by like the federal government, like in order to combat like the mafia way back when, because the mafia would have effectively so many, um, intricate, like their shit was so intricately put together that you couldn't tell where the money was and wasn't coming from. Right. And so. I, 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 you can make a version of it that looks like Rico and smells like Rico, right? But, you know, Rico doesn't exist in legislation, but that doesn't mean you can't make something similar to it. That's a very co a complicated question to uh, answer. Um, Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, easy. Uh, sorry, last thing I heard was Rico, and then my head exploded. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, like, if you take a look at the docket, look at uh, the people versus Marco Frey. Yo, sarcastic one, thank you, 31 months. And then look at the, uh, the last sentence of the statement of claim. You see what I'm talking about? Um, okay, I got it up. Let me see. On, uh, on da, 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 a search warrant was conducted on. Wait, under statement of claim, is that what you said? I'm sorry, they've got it labeled as probable cause affidavit. Um,. Okay, I see. Yeah, so it's not exactly Rico, but it's got a similar name because uh, Rocco is the name of the clean guy that got killed. I guess he's naming it after him. Um. But he says reoccurring organized criminal conspiracy operations what i don't understand this he doesn't even say rico he's coming up with a new term yeah what? i think he's trying to you know like los santosify it and not oh. be strictly rico um maybe maybe he's aiming to like create precedent yeah that's what i'm ex that's what i'm thinking because he 
like I'll say, he had the template with the Cypress case, but I got two of the cases dismissed and then the other guy died, so that never really seen the, the light of a courtroom. This is going to be interesting. Um, yeah. I, uh... So, fundamentally, this this is kind of... Kind of pokes at my dismay, kind of, over uh, uh, all the legislative shit that's been happening. Is, mm -hmm. like, I would love to see, even once a week, just proposed legislation being discussed. And the merits to it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. The, the post-facto discussions are just non-productive. Right? I, I described it to someone earlier where it was, like... You know, um, it's easy to just fought a document out and then it takes a hundred hours, man hours to fight against it. So yeah, as opposed to you bring it up, everyone is aware you can bring the merits to and from it. It can get altered and then published. Um, and so when I look at this like Rocco thing, right, the moment these sort of incidents occur and and there's a laundry list of it it's been happening for a while is someone from the marshal's office should propose either a piece of legislation an expansion of legislation or like something that describes what this is and you bring it mm -hmm. forward you bring it forward and that would yeah, be I healthy think that's what he's i think he's trying to do that through like case law i guess yeah, I think um, I think this is reasonable, if I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to have heavy impact, though. Um, and I get the point of it because he's pretty much... But the only thing I would say is, like, well, he's got weapons, man. In fact, what makes it Rocco without... Yeah, that's... Yeah, like I say, he had the... I guess the perfect template for Cyprus, but the, the PD fumbled that. How? So well, because you know the guy how... died? Well no. Uh that's not PD's fault, but um you know how if someone if someone's getting charged with something that needs to go on the docket and they do a crime while like getting caught for that, then all the charges get put on the docket? Like, if you've got a murder warrant out and you shoot cops to try and stop getting arrested for that, then the charges for shooting the cops will go on the docket and you won't get charged, like, at the time. Yeah. Because it'll be double jeopardy. Basically, the cops charge some of the people who tried to stop the raid in Cyprus um, on the day of. Yeah. And then they got handed over to the marshal, and then he tried to push the oh! charges from the raid on those people. Oh! Well, yeah, because I, I think a lot of people have been... Oh my lord. Double jeopardy is one of those things that people just don't seemingly get understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um But yeah, I got those two dismissed because of double jeopardy and then Rocco died, so Man. Hearing double jeopardy gives me the shakes. Um Yeah, it's like like malicious prosecution. A lot of people like to say the term, but they Bro, they don't when know Brian used to get into means. arguments with cops, you can't charge him right now. Yeah now oh my lord that is so funny um okay uh i this is um the other reason i wanted to uh talk to you is that there is a case on monday um do you take a look real quick it is yeah legislation contesting yes um i have an inherent issue with it as you have two police departments that are trying to represent what effectively should be the people's position. It's a little strange um, and that there is no representation of the people. And I was hoping that you and I could enter in to represent them. Uh, specifically with the argument of we, the people of Los Santos County, have a representative elect of the chief of police and subsequently the Los Santos Police Department and the reasons why it is vital for them to maintain their authority over the county. Yeah. 
Uh, is that something you're willing to do? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds good. Okay. Um, if you could, uh, say you're doing it on behalf of Los Santos County, and I will also add myself. I don't think I'm going to say much, but I think it makes sense for me to be there. Um, mm -hmm. all right. Isn't that election day, by the way? I'm not entirely sure. I know that you may get sworn in on the 21st. So take away seven days from that would be the 14th. I'm not sure if that is Monday. Okay. All right. Easy. Uh, yeah, it is. I, um, yeah. Uh, the argument's going to be probably pretty simple. Um, I think the Constitution protects them. Uh, specifically the outlining of Los Santos County in the Constitution from which this is derived. So, quite frankly, so I don't... Like, hmm. Blaine County just wants the... They want the jurisdictional conflicts to only be handled by High Command? Is that basically it? They want to amend it into it being a co-authority. Oh. Uh, let me bring it up. Uh, That's... Uh, okay. They say, as of 9-30-2024, the sub-authority clause of the legislation, blah, 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 blah. Um, the people, the people, quote, unquote. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lord have mercy. A.K.A. Sheriff Bones and Under Sheriff Cassidy. Um, find the wording of the clause creates a overwhelming effect where it can be easily interpreted to disallow members of law enforcement departments to contribute and serve the community as a whole. I don't know where that conclusion is coming from. Uh, this can lead to extreme constitutional violations, blah, 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 just bullshit. This is permanently deficient, detrimental, and infringes upon the people of San Andreas. Thus, a motion to amend that BCSO and LSPD may patrol and enforce the laws of San Andreas in state jurisdiction, SASM has full jurisdiction and authority over the territory they have ultimate authority over all over friends. Da, da, da. So they're they're saying a whole lot here and they're trying to squeeze in some verbiage mm -hmm. that actually oversteps like a motherfucker. Um and so um hold on, let me see who is this. Oh Jasmine at courthouse. So uh please do take a look. Please enter yourself. Yeah. I will do the same. And um, we can discuss this topic more. I want to give you enough time to, like, you know, cook on it a bit. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh... All right. I'll, uh... I to go turn some calls. All right. I appreciate you. I'm going to do the same. Uh, Michael, time, Michael, you take care. Sign in. Take a look at the guidelines I wrote up. 